Did you know that you can play a natively optimized version of Fortnite on an Apple Silicon Mac? And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And no, this is not the broken Mac OS Epic Game Store version stuck in season two, but the real Fortnite that you can play online multiplayer with the rest of the world. No emulation, no cloud streaming, all natively local through Apple Silicon. So you might remember back in 2020, Fortnite got removed from the App Store on iPhone and iPad due to a dispute about the Apple's 30% cut on the App Store. Epic also decided to stop updating the macOS version as well, despite the fact that on the Mac, payment processing wasn't actually handled by Apple, macOS is an open platform after all. And despite this, Epic has kept Fortnite frozen in time on Mac, that is until now. Last year, due to changes in regulation on the App Store in Europe, Fortnite was updated and released again on iPhone and iPad platforms, but not on the Mac. However, because Apple Silicon Macs basically share the same architecture, we can actually sideload the mobile version of Fortnite onto the Mac and play the proper online multiplayer. However, it isn't that easy. Running the game on Mac requires modifying the app to extend virtual addressing and increase memory limits, otherwise the game won't boot up on macOS. And this is where an enterprising modder called Isaac Kucho has created the FF and Mac Assistant or Fortnite Mac Assistant, a tool which helps to download the latest decrypted Fortnite IPA, and it also patches the app so that it can be booted up on Apple Silicon Macs. So today I'm gonna to show you how to get this tool and Fortnite running on your Mac. But before we get into any monster Fortnite sessions, I just wanna share this quick tip that's been an absolute game changer for me, not just for gaming, but for life in general. Recently, I've been exercising more and keeping an eye on my diet to help with weight loss. But finding the time to cook healthy meals has been a challenge. And that's where Factor comes in and they're sponsoring today's video. Factor takes all the stress out of meal planning, no more grocery shopping, chopping, or wondering what to eat. Instead, you get chef-crafted, dietitian-approved meals delivered right to your door. There are over 35 meal options every week, whether you're into keto, calorie smart, vegan, and veggie, or just want something delicious. One thing I love, Factor meals are super quick to heat up so you can spend less time in the kitchen and more time gaming. Because let's be honest, who wants to clean up after dinner when you're deep into a game? Ready to level up your meal game? Use my code andrewjan50 or click the link in the description to get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next month. Thanks to Factor for helping gamers stay healthy while saving time. Now back to the video. And before you go ahead and install FN Mac Assistant and use this method for running Fortnite on your Mac, you should be aware of several downsides. So the first thing to say is that this is not an authorized way of running Fortnite on your operating system. This could potentially result in a ban, especially as we are basically modifying some of the code. And even though it's fairly benign, this could potentially down the road result in a ban. So I do recommend using a burner account, not necessarily your main account. Although it should be said that this method has been running for several months now and no one's actually been banned using this method yet, this still could technically happen in the future. Next is the fact that this app needs to be renewed every seven days. So the process of sideloading only allows the app to function for seven days. So every single week, you're basically gonna have to renew it. Also with updates as well, every time the Fortnite IPA needs to be updated, then you're gonna have to repeat the sideloading process as well. So you kind of get used to it. It's gonna happen fairly frequently, especially if you use this method going long term into the future. Next is that this is gonna be controller only. So technically we can get some methods of keyboard and mouse working, although there are significant downsides to this. There's controller emulation that you can do through the app, but make sure you have a compatible controller. So that's the PS4, PS5 controller, or the Xbox series or Xbox One controllers. Those are all gonna work pretty well. Next is that we're not gonna have access to the full desktop graphics package. So this is basically gonna be the mobile graphics only, which which is definitely gonna look a bit worse compared to the desktop versions of the game. It is possible to run this at 120 hertz, just make sure to launch the game from the screen, which is actually running 120 hertz to begin with. Then you can get a 120 FPS display. And lastly, with sideloaded apps, you can't make payments through the game, but if you were to buy V-Bucks on the Epic website, then you can actually buy in-game items using the V-Bucks. But like I said at the beginning, I don't recommend using a main account or spending any money on this, just because it's basically an unauthorized way of playing the game. It remains to be seen whether this is gonna be authorized going forward. So once you know all of the downsides, let's go ahead and install Fortnite. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to download the FN Mac Assistant. So this is the Fortnite Mac Assistant, which I'll leave a link to in the GitHub page. Then what we need to do is click on the releases section here and we'll download the latest version. So this is version 1.2 at the time of recording. Once that has downloaded, we're gonna open this up in Finder under downloads 
and you'll see this error message pop up. It's because it's not a signed application. So in order to open this, all we need to do is to go into the system settings and then we're gonna to go to privacy and security, then scroll to the bottom. It says here, FN Mac Assistant was blocked to protect your Mac, but we don't have to worry about that. Press open anyway, and then open anyway again. Then type in your user password for your Mac. So just wait for this pop-up to appear. If it doesn't for whatever reason, just press it again and repeat the process type in your password and then press OK. Then the FN Mac Assistant app will open up and what you wanna do is select the main IPA. Now don't be too confused by this drop down list that happens when you click on the list. The underscore clean IPA is the original Fortnite file. You want the default one at the top for Fortnite. This has been modified to work on a Mac. So go ahead and click on the download IPA file and it's going to download this 201 megabyte file and it's going to be located within your finder under downloads. The instructions say here we need to download Sideloadly and that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for the sideloadly.io website. All you've got to do is scroll down and then click on the macOS download. So we'll put this in our downloads folder and then we'll open up the DMG file. So just go ahead and open this from finder and then we'll drag and drop Sideloadly into the applications folder. So within applications, we'll double click on Sideloadly to open it, and we're gonna get a similar error to before. So just like with Fortnite Mac Assistant, we'll go into privacy and security and then manually open Sideloadly. Then we'll just type in our password and then the application will be openable. So if it doesn't open for you the first time, just go ahead and double click it again to open up. So now the Sideloadly window has opened up. So at this stage, what we've got to do is to use an Apple ID in order to basically ad hoc sign this application. So this is actually very safe to use. You can use your main Apple ID if you wanted to. Sideloadly developers don't have access to any of your data. However, if you want to be safe, then just create a new Apple ID. We're also going to drag and drop the Fortnite night IPA that we downloaded into the icon area. And so with the Apple ID entered as a username, then we're ready to go ahead and press the start button. Here Sideloadly is asking us to log into Patreon to enable this feature, but we don't need that, just press cancel. We'll type in the Apple ID password and then press the OK button. And then Sideloadly is gonna go through the process of sideloading that application. So you can see the progress at the bottom here. It's saying that it's signing, unpacking, signing, and then the app is basically going to be modified within the applications folder. So we need to go back into our applications folder and then open up Fortnite for the first time. And this is actually going to crash or not load correctly the first time and that's normal behavior. So next we need to go back into FN Mac Assistant and then we need to press the patch app button. And what might happen is that you might get this error message, failure to patch the app, operation not permitted. And this is basically a permissions issue, which we'll fix now. So you might see this pop up on the top right hand side about privacy and security, just press allow, or you can go into settings and then privacy and security under app management. And basically we need to toggle on FN Mac Assistant to allow it to make changes to other apps. Then we'll press quit and reopen, and then we'll repeat this process again. So go back into the applications, open up FN Mac Assistant, then go ahead and press the patch app button and then this time it's going to be successful. Then we'll go into our applications folder and now we can double click on the Fortnite app and it's basically going to go ahead and load up. So here we can go through our standard setup here. Now within the Fortnite mobile app you might have issues actually interacting with any of the UI buttons with your mouse. So you might not be able to press the continue button here. What I did is basically shut down the app and then reload it and then it started to download all of the necessary Fortnite data in order to run the game. So just wait for this bit to finish, might take a bit of time. So now the game has downloaded and we're ready to go ahead and log in. So I actually have my controller paired up already and I press the X button to log in and you can use your mouse here to press continue. Because I have Chrome as a default browser, this is opening up this little pop-up window here where you can press the sign in button and then log in with an Epic Games account. If you're using Safari, you might come across an issue. I'll leave a link to a potential fix for that, which involves enabling touch alternatives on the app's settings on the menu bar on the top left. So just so that you're aware, you might want to use a burner account. You might not want to use your main account just because this could potentially result in a ban, even though no one's actually been banned for this yet, because we're running this game under an unauthorized device. So now we're logging in with our Epic Games account and it's all loading up as normal. So here we need to accept the end user licensing agreement. I'm using my controller to do this. Just press the continue buttons and then you're logging in. So I know the intro video is going to load up up and we can go ahead and create a character and then tweak some of our settings. Fix settings menu, I recommend turning everything to the highest because even an M1 Apple Silicon Mac can handle this really well. 
if you want to run the game at 120 fps then you need to be running and opening this app from the dock of a 120 hertz monitor otherwise make sure to set everything onto high so now we're here i've queued up to my first battle royale game which in true fortnite style is always going to be a bot match at the beginning but it is being played online and here with the controller gameplay we're basically getting flawless frame rates after all, this is a natively optimized game and it's only the mobile port, not the full desktop version. So you can expect this to work on any M series one or above very easily. So here I'm just gliding down. I just want to show you some of the gameplay that's available. Now the bots in this game are not that intelligent. It's a good way to get started getting used to the controls and stuff. I'm not particularly good at Fortnite myself, but I've never failed to win the bot match at the beginning of a new account. So anyway, that is how you get Fortnite working on the Mac. And if you have any issues at all, I recommend that you go ahead and check out the official Discord of the FN Mac Assistant, which I'll leave a link to in the description. They'll help take care of any technical problems that you have. And all of this is possible thanks to the work of Isaac Kucho. Make sure to keep supporting the project. You can go ahead and support the project by buying the mod creator a coffee or support their Patreon. These are really important because this kind of project requires ongoing support, especially as this needs updating every single time Fortnite gets an update. I'll leave a link to these methods of support in the description. Anyway, thank you very much for Isaac Kuto for creating this mod in the first place and answering some of my questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.